All right, pull the belts down. Here we go. Got to get one shot. Green, white, checkered flag. Earnhardt Jr., remember, hasn't been to victory lane since Richmond in May of 2006. How hungry is he? Reed Sorensen, it's his home racetrack. He's never won a race. Oh, this is going to be good. Folks, put the seat belts on the sofa. Here we come. Jimmy Johnson down for the green flag, trying to win a chase and trying to win a race. Oh, and Johnson gets a good restart. He gets away from Edwards by about five cars. Junior oh. spinning. Earnhardt Jr. spins up in front of McMurray. Tire flew off that left rear of the eight car. How in the world did that happen? The tire completely fell off the car. That's a one attempt at a green-white checker. Coming through the white, coming through the white. White in caution, and Jimmy Johnson will win it here at Atlanta. Slow down there, Yellen. Slow down. This one, folks, is history. What a uh, what a day as Jimmy Johnson wins and Carl Edwards waves out the window. That's the craziest thing I've ever seen. Left rear tire came completely off of that eight car. And talk about a good move out of Jeff Gordon. When that crash happened off of two, he stood in the throttle and he picked up like three positions. Jimmy went from a one point behind to now Jimmy's 23 points behind Jeff Gordon. But boy, did he pick up a lot of ground today and on Jeff Gordon. Good to see Junior get out of the car here. That was a pretty good lick. Junior's probably thinking, what in the world just happened? Dave Burns. Well, he had some indication that something might go wrong in the A car. He told his crew just before that restart, I think something might be broken in the back of this car, and that must have been what he was feeling somewhere back on that rear tire. Out of the car, able to walk away. So this is the kind of luck, this is the uh, emblematic of the kind of year I've had. Watch the A car, my heavens. It's like maybe a broken wheel or something. I mean, the lug nuts just oh, don't all come off the car at the same time. It could have been a broken wheel. And Jamie McMurray, oh my gosh, bad day for him. He had such a good run going on. What a crazy finish. That comes, is crazy. Comes off there right up in front of Jamie McMurray. And suddenly a day he thought might end up in victory lane. Ends up with disappointment once again. And there's two fellas that didn't do anything wrong at all. Jamie's just a victim, and Junior broke a wheel. Well, the DEI guys sure did have tough luck. Jimmy Johnson picks up his eighth win of the year, his third win at Atlanta Motor Speedway, and now he moves to within 10 points, make it nine points unofficially of Jeff Gordon. And NASCAR's working, Jerry, on the timing and scoring right now. They've put Jeff Gordon back just a little bit, which puts now, at the moment, Jimmy Johnson within nine points. So Jimmy Johnson showing as the leader. Carl Edwards will finish second. Reed Sorensen here at the home racetrack finishes third. Matt Kenseth from the last starting spot finishes fourth. Jeff Burton is fifth. Boyer sixth. Jeff Gordon now seventh. And Kurt Busch is eighth. Casey Kane ninth. And Brian Vickers tenth. Let's check in where Allen is caught up with a crew chief for Jimmy Johnson who is smiling as he naturally should. His team has won another race, made big gains in the championship. Chad, the call for two tires. Tell us about it. Well, you know, the only way for us to gain on the 24 as competitive as they're running is for us to, to go for the wins, and that's what we've got to do. If, uh, if it had stayed green, we were going to go for it at that point, and uh, you know, just coming down here, I knew that a lot of those guys were going to do it, so and I figured that the guys that were leading at that point were probably going to take four, and I knew the guys who were just a little bit further back were probably going to take two, and I just... So, hey, let's, let's try it and see what happens, you know? And it worked out well. Congratulations. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I just can't be happier for this whole Lowe's organization, Hendrick Motorsports. They just, uh, Rick provides us with everything we could possibly need, and everybody back at HMS from the engine program to the, the body and chassis development program, they just did a phenomenal job this year, and it's, uh, it's going to be exciting to the wire. Thank you, Chad. Hey, remember on the pace laps, we talked about pit position being so crucial. Chad had the time to make that call because he had one of the last stalls at the end of pit road before you go back out onto the racetrack. That's why he could react to what the other teams did. That is a, that is a great call. Let's go down to Jamie, who's caught up with Carl Edwards. Yes, he came over the radio and said a few things. You guys thought you had a chance at a Carl. What was it like right there on that green-white checker? Man, I'd have given anything for those last two laps to go uh, go green. I hope Dale's all right. I don't know what happened there, but um, I think it was going to be a heck of a race. And 
Jimmy did a good job. We were in a second place car all day, so I'm really proud of them all, the Office Depot guys. I thought, uh, I thought if it went green, I thought Matt was going to get it, and um, then we got that caution, and I thought we might get it. So, um, good day for, uh, for Roush Fenway, but we've got to pick it up just a little here to be able to compete with these guys like we used to. Well, Doc, a good day for Carl Edwards. Good way to get the attention back on the racetrack. Absolutely great effort down toward the end with Carl Edwards, and how about uh, Matt Kenseth starting dead last and finishing fourth overall. Unofficial results again. Jimmy Johnson picks up his eighth win of 2007, moves to within nine points of Jeff Gordon. And by the way, big check for going to the uh, fire relief fund the, by the American Red Cross in California. Jimmy Johnson donating his winnings, Hendrick Motorsports, and the folks here matching it. So a big check going to the folks in Southern California needed some uh, needed relief there in the American Red Cross. Edwards second, Sorensen third, Kenseth, Jeff Burton. Good run for Burton, get a top five. How about Boyer, who struck early today, gets a top six finish. Jeff Gordon seventh, Kurt Busch, Casey Kane, and Brian Vickers, a Toyota now finishing in the top ten here. Uh, Michael Walter, by the way, back in 11th spot. Jeff Gordon standing by with Dave. And he just climbed out of the 24 car, having pulled into the garage area here. Jeff, you end the day seventh after what is can only be categorized as a bizarre day. Can you sum up your performance? Yeah, it wasn't uh, a real uh, great performance for us today, and we struggled for uh, you know the middle part of the race. We we just uh, you know this track can change a lot, and it did. And it's all about sticking with it, and we did. You know, Steve Latar and all the guys on this DuPont Nick Red Chevrolet did a great job. It's just we got it turned around too late, and we were too far behind by that point. But there at the end, you know, my car was pretty awesome. On, on the long run, I was too tight, but we really fixed it for the short runs. We needed about a five-lap run right there, and we would have given them a run for their money on those four tires. Jeff's still the championship leader, but by a slimmer margin today, guys. Let's go down to Mike Massaro in victory lane. And Jimmy Johnson climbing out of his car in victory lane for the second time this season here at the Atlanta Motor Speedway. It's his third sweep this year. He did it also at Richmond and at Martinsville. And had that caution flag not come out with Junior at the end, what type of moves were you anticipating from the 99? Um, well, I got a great restart, so I felt like I was in good shape. I, I thought the 8 was going to make quick work of him. Uh, he had such a good car today, so um, I, I had a little cushion going into 1 and was trying to run like crazy to get away from those guys because I knew the 8 was going to be coming. But uh, today wasn't the best day for the slowest car. Uh, the Chevrolet was, was decent, but a 5th to 8th place car throughout the day, and circumstances there at the end really uh, really worked out for us and took advantage of it. One of those circumstances was a call made by Chad Canals to go for two tires. What did you think of that call? Well, it depends on, on how you come out of pit road. When I left pit road and there was five or six cars behind me on two tires, I knew we were in good shape. So uh, the 11 running out of gas coming to the green flag really caught me off guard. And I knew what was going on there. Uh, we took advantage of things today. And then one other quick note to, to point out, um, I'm dedicating my race wins, which we talked about earlier this week. Uh, and with everyone else matching it from Lowe's, um, Root and Smith here with Sonic Automotive, um, the France family, a bunch of people, it'll be well over a million dollars going out to the American Red Cross. So something we're very proud of. Congratulations. Jimmy. Thank you. And obviously, Doc, this is much bigger than simply a race win. It goes to benefit a lot of people in Southern California. Absolutely, Mike. Three races remain in the chase, and the points lead now down to just nine points. We head to the Great American Speedway, Texas Motor Speedway, NASCAR Bush competition, where we're going to crown a champion at 3 o'clock Eastern time. And, of course, next Sunday, 1 o'clock Eastern time, our live coverage on ABC. Congratulations to NASCAR Nextel Cup at Atlanta where Jimmy Johnson coming up next tip on the West Coast ABC's World News or your local news over most of these ABC stations. Folks, congratulations to Jimmy Johnson and thanks for watching ESPN.